video for the whole speech impediment series. You should just call it that, right? And I was actually asked a question, and it was as follows. Did your teacher ever push you into repeating words over and over until you finally got them right? And this was submitted by Raven Paul VIII. And actually, my speech teacher from elementary school actually encouraged me to do this. So in middle school, I had three different teachers. They all had very different techniques. And my teacher in elementary school just had one. I, I just had one teacher. And then in high school, I just had one again. So my elementary school teacher and one of the ones that I had in middle actually encouraged me to do this technique. And at the time, I really liked it. It was very easy. But now I actually have anxiety problems. <laughs> and they actually stop me from being able to do this really well. I get really frustrated, basically. So what I actually do now is that I break up the words and then I put them together and then I did. So for example, someone actually posted saying that they have trouble saying the word curvy. So what I would do is I would get one of my index cards and I would write down the word curvy and then I would just split it up into the syllables. So just like this, I would split up the cur and then the v. And so I would just say it slowly. So the first part, cur, and then the last part, v. And then I just put it together. Curvy. Hope I said that right. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I would do. So even up until I think seventh grade, I continually would get index cards and I would just write the words down that had really bad, um, really trouble with saying. And then I would do it as follows: just split them up and say them over and over and over again. But now I just do it like a couple of times. When I'm talking, I actually do this. The other day, I was talking to my best friend at work, and I couldn't say, I don't remember the word, but let's just say it was syllable. I couldn't say syllable, and so I actually had to slow down and say syllable, and then say it all together. And I do this most of the time. There are a few exceptions. I do this around the people that I feel comfortable the most with. For example, my best friend, family members, um, close relatives close friends, stuff like that. I don't do it around people I don't feel that comfortable with. There's a couple of coworkers of mine who, let's put it, <laughs> are really rude. And so there's been times that I haven't been able to say the words and they'll laugh at me. They will. And I just don't continue. I just walk away because I don't want to deal with them. Because like I said, there's some people that, you know, will be accepting and there's others who will still try to hurt each other, no matter how old they are. So yeah, I would do this around different people. Around people I like, and accept me, and are fine with me. I do this every week. I just slow it down, say the word, over and over again. Do it, like, five times. Because my speech teacher would actually say it, like, over and over. Like, I would do it for, like, three minutes, just say the same word over and over again. There is this, and he would say, um, kind of like, tongue twisters. I don't know how you guys feel about tongue twisters. I personally hate them. But he would do this one that's called I do my math in the bath. <laughs> and he would make me pronounce it like that. So you guys can try those. It's really difficult. I suggest if you're going to try those tongue twisters like those, do it with a friend. Like have them say it and then you repeat it. And then have them say it again and then you repeat it again. But I, he would make me do those. Do those a lot. <laughs> very, very often, and it was so frustrating because we were in a room, this is my elementary school one, we would do it and we'd be in a room of like five different people, all of us with different speech appointments. Oh yeah, that's my dog, Dexter. <laughs> he loves cuddles and kisses. And so we would be in a room of like five different people, all of us with different type of speech impediments. Some would have lists, some would have like the R sound trouble, some would have like the S sound, so all different speech impediments. Some had stutters, and we would have to do this. So that was one of them. I remember that one because I hated it. I, I, at that time, I still had a lot of trouble saying the TH sound. So that's another thing you guys can do if you want. Because with that one, it lets you practice with different words, like I said. You can practice with the word math and the word bath. And what else were I going to say? Well, that's about it. <laughs> just wanted to answer that question. I answered it 
sent them a message, so Riz and Paul, look out for a um, reply on your inbox. And I just wanted to share this with all of you who didn't message me, because we all, well not all of us, but several of us have the same struggle, so we might as well just help each other out, right? Be nice. If you guys have any separate questions, you're just going to hit me up on any of my social networking, you can. I have free time, so I try to answer them whenever I can. I usually forget to answer them, because I'll look at them, look at the questions, or look at the comments, and I'll just be like, oh, how cool. And then I'll forget to answer them, so I apologize for taking the time to reply. But I will reply. I promise you, I always reply. And it's either going to be... Um, if there's a lot of questions, I'll answer them in the video. If it's just a few questions, I'll just message you. Either way, I'll try to do video and a personal message. But feel free to hit me up whenever you want. I have free time. You, if you want, the best way might be Twitter, <laughs> just because it's wired to my lovely little phone. So I automatically get them, and then I just, it makes that tweet noise, so I just hear it, and then I just go to it. So yeah, that might be the best way. If not, you can hit me up on here, on uh, my blog, or on Twitter, as I said already. Yeah, feel free to ask me any questions. I hope this helped some of you. If it didn't, I'm sorry, I tried. But this is the way I do it. And good luck with everything. Have a great day, evening, night, wherever it is, whatever time it is. And enjoy the rest of your week.